Hi guys, welcome back to Kenaka TV, your favorite online TV show. Guys, if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing because we have so much coming up for you. And to the returning viewers, thank you so much. Keep watching. Always drop a comment, like, and share. So guys, today in Ikohapa, Roma Designs, Roma Designs Africa, as you can see, I'm meeting one of the baddest designers in town, and it's just about to go down. It's definitely going to be amazing. So I'm going to be a set, not to end yeah. So guys, stay tuned. Karibu. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's been a minute. I've been looking for you for the longest time ever. Biashara, <laughs> hapakule, you know. Yeah. That's how it is. Okay. Uh, how this guy is so busy. I've been good. I've been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, being busy is part of the business. Uh, yeah, we have to be busy. It's Nairobi. Mm. Wow, but I appreciate for giving me this opportunity to do this. Anytime, anytime. We can always do this. Wow. Yeah. So maybe briefly would you introduce yourself so that people can know who you are, what you do? Oh, my name's uh, Robert Mandela, um, the CEO of Roma Designs Africa. Roma Designs Africa is a fashion company that uh, cuts across both male and female outfits, mm -hmm. but bespoken, which simply means we do it by order according to the specification of the client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So Roma, De it's, you say, it's, is it Roma Designs or Roma Africa? Design? Designs Africa. So it's Roma Designs Africa. That's the right order. The only one. Wow. The only one. Wow. So Roma. is Central Africa, North, and they know about me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's so powerful. So Roma, would you tell us, how did you start your journey as a designer? And maybe what inspired you to join the fashion industry? I think I would say I was inspired by my dad, you know. Uh, when I was uh, smaller, uh, when I was growing up, my dad used to love suits so much. I could check some inspirations, how he dresses, and I think I got motivated. Yeah. And when I was growing up, I was this kid who loves fashion more than any other thing. I'd rather go to school while I'm clean instead of even carrying books, you know. <laughs> but all good. Yeah, it started way back. Yeah, way back and you know, um that's where my, my fashion journey started because I noticed I'm gifted differently and in fashion. I love um making people look good through the gift of fabric, you know. Yeah. So did you have to maybe attend a fashion school or you just learned from your dad? I was supposed to do uh engineering. But I quitted and I did fashion. Yeah, I had to, you know, um, initially I started just uh, as someone who aspires. But I noticed you have to learn so that you can bring professionalism and stuff. So I pursued fashion so that I can make the industry become a better thing, you know. And I've been dreaming about making, uh, you know, they've, there's never been any African brand that is known for luxury you know we know all about all the other bigger brands talk about gucci dosha and gabbana or whatsoever but we've never known any african brand and i think i should be the odd wow. yeah so for how long have you been doing this um this is my 11th year wow quite a long time yeah it's quite a long time i've worked more than the hours for ex experience you know yeah Maybe w w would, you, would you tell us, maybe, is there any international brand that really you look up to or you just do it from your own passion and stuff? No, um, I, I come with my own creation, but sometimes I'm inspired by bigger brands because um, that's where I would like to be or even be much higher than them some years. I look at um, uh, Roberto Cavalli and the brand, I look at Dolce & Gabbana, I look at other brands the, in terms of the finishing, the workmanship, the quality, mm -hmm. and I just feel like I'm really inspired, you know. Yeah. And I don't look at it as a competition because there's nothing which has never been done on earth, but we can beat the order and do something a little bit different yeah. through what has been done. Wow. That's amazing. You know, there are so many designers out here. Maybe what, what you, would you tell us that makes you stand out as a designer? Because I've seen your work, eh? It's quite different. <laughs> yeah, if you just see that difference, you know. Roma Designs is always Roma Designs. The difference is uh, there's a lot of professionalism when it comes to workmanship. Keen, a lot of um, 
a lot of attention to details a lot of i don't know i don't know if i'm it will be i'm praising too much but i know it, there's something different about yeah, it yeah. yeah if you look at our outfit you'll be able to tell from others and mm -hmm. that makes me different from other designers so maybe for example right now the one you are putting on maybe our director can zoom eh? <laughs> so how much is this suit <laughs> okay this suit um it goes for twenty thousand kenyan shillings mm -hmm. yeah but um the suits which are more expensive than this maybe 50 60 70 what? also lower than this from fifteen thousand, you can get something good for yourself you know yeah Maybe someone would also like to know, as a designer, the, the, the market is growing right now so fast. Maybe how do you put yourself in the market? Like what are some of the ways you use to create awareness for your brand? Um, perfecting the craft. Each and every day, I, I wouldn't even say it's marketing, but perfecting the craft makes you uh, have more space in the market because everybody's doing it. Yeah. Everybody so many people out. Yeah. Everybody's shipping. China is... The Chinese market and the ready-made clothes have already flooded our market, but yeah. our people are noticing what we can do. So just the attention to the details and good workmanship will elevate you each and every day. Wow. Yeah. I've also seen you working with so many celebrities, artists. I, I saw Otile Brown, Calligraph Jones, Willie Paul. Maybe would you tell us, how, how did you come to work with such people? I came to work uh, with such people through my talent, you know. That's what I would say. Um, I'm learned uh, fashion-wise, but I'm also talented. Yeah. But, um, you know, when you're doing anything good, it will always be noticed, despite of whichever place you are. Though. So that's how I came across all these people. Mm -hmm. Through my work, I'm recommended. I'm highly rated, yeah, even with the king and, ki and queens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and... Yeah, if you're a king or if you're a queen, then you should highly recommend me. Wow. It is always said that nobody is perfect. Have you been in a situation whereby maybe you did something and the client was not satisfied? Have you ever encountered that? Yeah, sure, it's part of growth. But, you know, each and every day, even up to now, I know there's something I'll do wrong, but I'm a quick learner, that's what I can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've never been in a situation where maybe you, you, maybe you had an argument with a client and it didn't go well? <laughs> no, arguments are part of life, mm -hmm. but uh, the thing is you have, to, you, you, you have to be very flexible in terms of uh, your mentality and mindset. Mm -hmm. um, nothing is permanent, mm -hmm. so you won't, it's not a good thing to make anything permanent. You can just be flexible enough to um, agree and disagree, mm -hmm. because it's part of life. It could be what I like is not what you like, but end of the day I make sure that things are back intact. Yeah. So moving forward, each and every work has got challenges. What are some of these challenges maybe you have faced as a designer? As a designer, what I can say, um, taxation, because the fabrics are becoming more and more expensive. This means you import some of them, right? Yeah, yeah some of them I import. Taxation, I'd say the, um, fla the way um, the clothes from China and Mtumba is flooding our market is now something different because you know um, end of the day people are getting things at a very very cheaper rate while they can do comparisons and they forget that this is custom made it's done according to your preference yeah, yeah which remains to be a challenge mm -hmm. if the government lowers taxation then we'll get um, fabrics and resources at a cheaper rate and mm -hmm. our clothes will be more and more affordable and we will make more and more money you know mm -hmm. yeah there also I've seen you you make also outfits for ladies. Maybe are there any with female celebrities that you have worked with? Yeah, yeah, I've worked with so many. I've worked with uh, Jovial. I've worked with Cindy. I've worked with uh, Sanai Peitande. There's so many. Uh, if I start mentioning names, I've even worked with Nandi from Tanzania. You know, yeah. So if I start mentioning names, we'll finish tomorrow. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the list is endless. Yeah, the list is endless. Like the Miss Trudy, the famous Miss Trudy. I I like her sense of fashion. Have you maybe encountered any? Have you done something together? I, I don't know her. Uh -huh. She lives in Kenya. Yeah, she's she's she's. she's, she's is she a celebrity or something? She's a content creator, actually. I'll have to check on her content. Okay. Next time, I think I'll have something to comment, you know. Yeah.
<laughs> what about the Pluto? I also like his. I I also see him putting on some nice suits. Maybe I'd also like to know. Have you ever maybe worked with him? You mean the Pluto, the one living like? Um, are you talking about the ones in the planetos? No, no. <laughs> there is this guy. He's also a, an influencer here. I don't know if you've come across. What's his name? The Pluto. The Pluto. I think. Uh, the Pluto. I don't know him, but he's a content creator. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. Wow. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, maybe as we continue, what would you tell someone who is starting their journey as a designer, especially in the Kenyan industry, and maybe they have not reached where you are? What would you tell them? I have to tell them they have to be consistent, persistent, patient, especially the patient part, because Making money isn't easy, but making money forever is easy if only you concentrate and you give yourself time, especially when you're putting the roots to your business at the beginning. What is this one thing that keeps you going, that makes you always being on toes each and every time? Hunger. You know, <laughs> everybody is afraid about tomorrow, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm also afraid of being hungry tomorrow, you know. I don't look at myself eating today and I feel like I'm in my comfort zone. I have to wake up because I know um, uh, even the one drawn in the currency doesn't have the currency. Yeah. Who am I? And it's not my image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Maybe any last word as we complete, what would you tell anybody that will watch this video? Which, which message do you have for them as a designer? <laughs> anybody who's watching this message, yeah. despite of uh, wherever you are, don't stop dreaming continue going it's only the beginning of the journey even if things are tough talk about the economy whatsoever all will be well the only thing keep on dreaming and keep on fighting because life is all about fights and overcoming them wow well, maybe uh, another last question is there any person you've really loved to work with but you've never gotten that opportunity um let me think um any person of of internationally maybe even even domestically here in Kenya or internationally still look okay. yeah a lot of people i want i like to work with a lot of people i like to do something for my president mm -hmm. yeah, i've never gotten the chance mm -hmm. i would like to do something for my maybe deputy president mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. for my governor zero zero one joe the swag master, you know. Yeah. yeah, if he happens to see this video, man, mm -hmm. I really want to do you something, you know. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Maybe you can mention your social media pages. If somebody is interested in what you're doing, they would like to work with you. How can they reach out to you? They can reach me out at Roma Designs Africa. That is in both Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm -hmm. At Roma Designs Africa. Okay. Yeah. Maybe would you spell Roma? Because someone may be uh, thinking of another Roma. <laughs> R O M A and then designs and then Africa, the Africa, the normal Africa. Wow. Yeah. Hey, that's amazing, Roma designs. Uh, I think maybe in the near future I will also consider having one outfit from here. No, no, we should do something. We, we, after the cameras, we should <laughs> after do the something. the cameras, we can do something behind the scenes, right? Sure, sure, sure. Wow. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, guys, that was Roma Designs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment there. Subscribe to Kenaka TV. Until next time, bye bye.